Fender Hammerstone Space Delay. Must be nice having a pedal that takes longer to make decisions than my GPS. Is your delay pedal sponsored by your commitment issues? Walrus Audio. Fundamental fuzz. Proving that not only their guitar is distorted, but probably their life choices too. It's like your pedal heard about boundaries and decided to break every single one of them. Is that fuzz on your guitar or just the sound of your neighbors reconsidering their life next door? TC Electronic Sky Surfer Mini Reverb. Your pedal choice screams, I like my guitar tone like I like my coffee, drowned in regret. Are you trying to recreate the ambiance of a soggy day in a sad swamp? Or is this your way of making every note sound like it's contemplating its life choices? Electroharmonics Big Muff Nano? Your pedal choice tells me you like your guitar tone the way I like my potato chips, heavily distorted and impossible to ignore. Is that Big Muff Nano compensating for something, or are you just trying to recreate the sound of a robot with indigestion? Boss RV6 Reverb. Your pedal screams, I want my guitar to sound like it's playing in a cathedral, even if I'm just strumming in my garage. Are you hoping the reverb will distract people from your questionable chord progressions? Or is this your way of making every note sound like it's having an existential crisis? Ibanez TS Mini. Because nothing says, I have strong opinions about mid-range frequencies, like a tiny green box. Is that pedal your way of ensuring your guitar solos are as hot as the debate over whether pineapple belongs on pizza? Or maybe you just like your distortion, like your coffee strong enough to wake the neighbors. Boss SD1. Because sometimes you want your guitar to sound like it's politely asking, mind if I join the band? Is that overdrive pedal your subtle way of telling everyone, I like my solos like I like my jokes, clean and not too edgy? Or are you just making sure your guitar tone is as middle of the road as your favorite classic rock playlist? Ibanez Analog Delay Mini. Because nothing says, I love the 80s. Quite like a delay pedal that takes longer to make decisions than I do in a fast food drive through Is your pedal's analog warmth there to compensate for the fact that your guitar solos are cooler than you are? Or are you just ensuring that your notes have enough time to reflect on their life choices before reaching the audience? MXR Phase 90 Because why play a straightforward guitar when you can make it sound like a caffeinated washing machine? Is your pedal's phasing effect your way of saying, I like my guitar tone like I like my roller coasters dizzying and slightly nauseating. Or perhaps you're just trying to create the musical equivalent of a psychedelic lava lamp for your audience. Dunlop Crybaby Mini Wawa. Because nothing says expressive guitarist like a pedal that makes your guitar sound like it's auditioning for a quacking duck choir. Is that Mini Wawa your way of telling the world, I like my guitar solos with a side of interpretive dance? Or are you just hoping the Wawa will distract people from the fact that you're still learning the stairway to musical heaven? TC Electronic Ditto Looper. Because why play with others when you can have a one-person jam session? Is your looper pedal your way of saying, I'm a solo act, and I'm not even sharing the spotlight with myself? Or are you just hoping the endless loops will distract people from the fact that you still haven't figured out Wonderwall? JHS 3 Series Compressor. Because nothing says, I'm squashing my dynamics like a bug. Quite like a pedal that's determined to make every note as level as my grandma's pancake recipe. Is your compressor pedal compensating for the fact that your guitar's emotional range is flatter than a weak old soda? Or are you just ensuring that your tone is as compressed as your attempts to avoid playing Freebird at every gig? MXR6 Band EQ, because sometimes you just want to sculpt your guitar tone with the precision of a surgeon performing delicate sonic surgery. Is your EQ pedal your way of saying, I don't trust the sound guy? So I'll just fix it all myself, thank you. Or are you trying to compensate for the fact that your guitar's natural EQ is more unbalanced than a cat on a skateboard? Electroharmonic Soul Food Overdrive. Because nothing says, I want my guitar to sound soulful, like a pedal that's more transparent than a stealthy ghost in a glass factory. Is your overdrive pedal your way of ensuring your guitar solos are as tasteful as a Michelin-starred chef in a sonic kitchen? Or are you just hoping the soul food will distract people from the fact that your licks are leaner than a dieting giraffe? Electroharmonics Pog 2. Because why settle for a regular guitar when you can turn it into a one-person symphony orchestra? Is your Pog 2 pedal your way of saying, I don't need a band, I have octaves, octaves everywhere? Or are you just hoping the polyphonic magic will distract people from the fact that your guitar skills are as elusive as Bigfoot playing a ukulele? Boss NS2. Because nothing says, I'm drowning out my mistakes, like a noise suppressor that works harder than a parent trying to silence a tantrum-throwing toddler. Is your NS2 your way of telling the world, I don't need my guitar to scream, I prefer it to whisper, 
maybe mumble a bit? Or are you just hoping the silence will distract people from the fact that your guitar skills are quieter than a mime in a vacuum? So there you have it, fellow tone travelers. Remember the right pedal not only shapes your sound, but also reveals a little bit about your musical soul. If you had a laugh or found your pedal soulmate today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. We're on a sonic journey here, and I want you to be part of the Riftastic adventure. Also, feel free to comment with your favorite pedal or share your pedal stories. I love hearing about your musical escapades. Until next time, keep the pedals rolling.